everyone so today I wanted to show you guys how I made these cool gauntlets they are made completely out of EVA foam there is a tutorial for the bracers which are these things right here as well um, somewhere up on my channel and for the helm which is somewhere over there if you want to watch that because I'm slowly uploading the entire progress on this build I I have not painted anything yet. I will be painting everything at the end once everything is all built. I also made the gloves removable so that I can use my phone at convention. The first thing that I did was wrap my hand in cling wrap and masking tape. I'm wearing one of the bracers so that I know where the bracer ends and I have a perfect fit between the glove and the bracers. And then I drew on the pattern. I draw a line down the middle so I know where to fold it in half and make a perfectly even piece because I'll be mirroring these top pieces. I then take the pattern off and I start cutting out the pieces and I put them on foam, pin them down, and outline them. added an extra inch to the top of the pieces so that there's a place for each spike to sit and give it some extra thickness. And I am also beveling the edges when I cut these out. I went over this a little bit more in the bracers video, but basically I'm just holding my blade at an angle to give it a nice slope into the cut of the foam. This keeps me from having to do any sanding work to achieve a cool slope. And it looks really nice. Then I start gluing on the raised pieces. I cut these out of the masking tape pattern by measuring about half an inch into the pattern and cutting it out. This makes a really cool like outline raised effect on the edges here. And then I blast it with some heat and I shape them. Here I'm melting some of the details into the foam. I go over this a lot more in my previous videos. Again, you should do this in a well ventilated room and wear a respirator and have a way to blast the fumes outside because this is so toxic. Now all the pieces are shaped to the top of my hand. Next with the quick seal, I fill in the seams and smoothen it out. Next, I have made a masking tape pattern of my finger. I'm just drawing on the design. I used the same design for all my fingers except for the thumb and pinky. The thumb had an extra plate and the pinky I just basically made a little bit smaller because I have a little pinky. My little pinkies are small. My little fingers are small in general. I then put the patterns onto regular craft foam. I believe it's like 2mm craft foam. You can get it literally anywhere like Walmart has it. I cut them out normally and sand the edges just a tiny bit just to knock off any like weird cutting mistakes. So to kind of give you an idea on how these work, each finger is composed of five pieces. The claw, the two underplates, a knuckle piece, and two floating plates. The underplates are there to protect your fingers when your fingers are bent, like when you're holding a weapon and something and if like someone tries to like cut your hand off, like you have those underplates to kind of like protect. So that's what the underplates are. And then um, the floating plates that sit on top are just tacked down at the sides to kind of give it that like cool scaly looking dragony effect. Next, I am heating each piece to get ready to shape my finger. To keep small little pieces of foam from escaping while you are heating them up, a roll of tape is very helpful and you just blast the heat in there. Be careful because this craft foam melts like very, very fast. And then I glue the pieces on. I did the pointer finger first to see if my method would even work and it did. So now I can move on to the rest of the fingers. I get to cut out all 50 plus little pieces of this and shape them all and put googly eyes into literally almost every piece and I didn't film that for some reason because I'm a dummy dumb bum and then I plasti dipped all of them and then they were ready to attach to the gloves. I am using my trusty hot glue to hot glue everything on. I am so used to hot glue burns that this doesn't affect me at all. I can just put it right on top of the glove while I'm wearing it. So when I start building this, I start with the claws first, and then I do the under plates, and then I do the knuckle piece, and then I do the floating plates on the very top. And then those just get attached at the sides again so that they kind of pop up on the top and the bottom 
So when you bend your fingers, it kind of like moves with your finger, if that makes sense. Oh, so now they are done. Wow. I like that the Plasti Dip reflects the sun so much. I don't know. It looks really cool. It makes it look like metal. Like real metal. Oh my goodness. It's very important that you scratch your cat with these because um, they love it. I could add some Warbler to strengthen the claws a little bit, but that would go against my no Warbler for this build rule that I set for myself. And uh, my, my Warbler stash is yelling at me. It's like, please put me on something. <laughs> I hope you guys do like this video. This is probably my favorite part of this costume so far, besides the breastplate, which is also turning out really, really cool. Feel free to comment any questions about anything that I may have missed. And check out my Patreon for more behind-the-scenes content and tutorials. Wow! Thank you so much to my patrons, Adam Hunt, Aliar, Blue Panda, Calvin Lewis, David Rosenbaum, Eric, Jim W., Kalika Kaiser, Logan Don Carlos, Mark Kitten, Robert Gallardo, Jr., Ryan Craig, Tone the Chicken Guy, and Veldemir. Thank you guys so much. Have a super awesome rest of your day. Go do awesome creative things, and I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye! Heart, 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 heart.